Well, after the previous sprint went super fast, I am now just gonna chop chop into the next one. I did a little bit of planning to get all the features I want to get done for the early access release. I think I need around 10 sprints. Uh, so even if I do back to back two week sprints now, it's uh, gonna be, you know, I'm looking at the May, June window of release. That would be sort of the optimal stuff. So I really need to be efficient at getting these sprints done, maybe even condensing them. So yeah, let's jump into the planning. I was able to already before the recording today, do all of the, create all the cards for the current sprint, which was all gonna be about line consistency. So when you draw line art with pixel art and then how to clean it up so it looks uh, nice and smooth and uh, different kinds of line widths you can also do if you want a little bit of a different art style or different guidelines that you want to follow. I put those at low priority in case we don't get to them because more important is that we have the lessons here and also then the challenge that it's going to be a fun challenge so i'm super looking forward to that so those are the most important ones and if i can get this done in the next two weeks then i've pretty much done two of my features uh, into one sprint i really need to be good at just cutting stuff out and be fast and just move on so that i can get as much content out that is really necessary out for the early access so i'm just gonna stop talking here and go into design and coding and i'll see you in a week here we are after a week and it's been going quite great. In fact, I've completed all the high priority tutorials. A couple of sprints ago, we've done the pixel art lines and we've done the first Jaggis chapter. And now, uh, as I promised, there will be more lessons in this tutorial on pixel art lines. In fact, so the next one after Jaggis is Jaggis 2. Some Jaggis are less desirable than others. Yes, indeed. Not all Jaggis are born equal. So this tutorial really goes into, okay, so we know Jaggis are, Jaggis are just a necessary thing that when it comes to pixel art because of the raster grid, there's going to be this, you know, sharp corners on each one of the lines or uh, rows and columns of pixels. So usually when we're trying to draw lines, we will be putting just these kind of rows next to each other together so that they just touch in the corners. But then when you're hand drawing, when you would be dragging your line like this, you will often be covering multiple pixels at the same time. And that gives rise to this, uh, what we call doubles, because you only need one of these two pixels uh, to have a, what you would call a pixel perfect line that only has these segments touching in corners. And so in this tutorial, it uh, shows you why this is a problem. In fact, here you will get a nice little demonstration of, yeah, if you imagine how the line is going, wherever you have this sort of a jaggy on a conceptual level, this kind of a stair, the double, just creates this kind of a off thing, right? Instead of being straight like that, it just creates this a little bit more of a, your, your, your eye stops there. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of on a conceptual level. It also breaks the flow of the line, the smooth line. If you just look at how the corners are connected. So, you know, you get rid of one of them and look at this nice little smooth line. Further on, you don't actually necessarily have to have doubles to give rise to jaggies that are uh, jaggies that you don't want. Uh, in fact, this kind of stuff, right? This jaggy over here that was created, this jaggy right here, this one, a lot of people would just call that a jaggy. Like you have to fix your jaggies. They would be talking about that kind of a pixel that was in between here. Why? Because it breaks this curve as well. Instead of being a nice curve here, it just kind of goes a little bit more in. And again, you have this little bit of a dent in the curve. And so how do you fix this? Well, you move this pixel up. so. You move it up and delete this one and now you have a smooth curve and the same thing happens with a uh, diagonal so if you draw a diagonal again here you get these broken broken intended lines or implied lines that are happening and here too uh, yeah you just fix it by moving pixels and you know in the instructions also tell you this is what you will get into more in the diagonals chapter so yeah this top part you will be more explained in the curved section and this one in the diagonal section and but before we get to that here's a little 
so almost like a mini challenge lesson gives you dots and you have to connect it in one go so you just start drawing through all of those lines because yeah when you're hand drawing like this that's when you start getting problems with uh, doubles right and at this point for the first time you get introduced to the pixel art grading sheet and look at this full of doubles everywhere and so yeah per pixel perfect lines very low score 22 percent you can go in and then you can also hover um, which ones are doubles there's also corners this one up here is yeah it's not exactly a double because there's no two pixels that are that you should choose from but it's very much uh, yeah unintentional corner that you do you want to you want to smooth it out so you also want to get rid of that one so yeah let's take a look let's try and clean it up just like we said before you know you just Anytime you have doubles, you just clean one of them. And there you go. That's a pixel perfect line. In software like Aceprite, uh, you will actually find that you have the option to just draw lines as you're drawing them normally, uh, to not create any jaggies for you. But you know, it's good to have, good to know how to do it manually as well. That's it for now. These are the most important one you know how to clean them up later on you will also be able to learn well okay how do diagonals work to be perfect to be even and how curves need to be to be super smooth and it'll give you unlock your new challenge which i'm gonna start working on right now and i will see you at the end of the sprint next time it has now been two weeks of this sprint and yes, we have something to show. In fact, we're going to play, we're going to play a little bit of the challenge where we're going to draw line art. So after you complete the pixel art alliance tutorial, now you get a completely new challenge over here, pixel art line art. Remember how last time in pixel art software, you get to choose between all of these cards which sprite you're gonna draw well we have a new selection screen like this for pixel art line our challenge and yeah you're gonna choose a reference to draw your favorite character and here it opens up a little folder a little binder yeah look at this you open up and then you have little little folders and you can flip around you have a little mario uh sonic there's nothing else for now uh, the only one that works is the mickey mouse this is the public domain poster from 1928 that you get to draw and then for the other ones uh, we're gonna use them on the fair uh, fair use basis uh, so you know these are old commercials of uh, stuff from the 80s from the from the 90s let's take a look at the little mickey mouse let's select it up and first of all we get a little empty paper but as soon as we drag out the reference there we go we have a little preview of what we're about to draw right now at this point you're not expected to already know exactly how to do all the proportions and that kind of stuff that's gonna come in later tutorials here you just want to focus on getting nice little clean line art and so if you've done the tutorial you should be able to know how to uh, do all of this the new thing that is here that hasn't appeared previously is that hey this uh, Mickey Mouse has filled in areas so this looks exactly like what we're used to you know you would just draw a line like this and also as you can see the line disappears as as you draw most of it uh, it'll disappear or it's very faintly drawn so that it doesn't bother you and also compared to the previous tutorials there's way more tolerance so this line for example could go way more out and it'll still say that it's done because at this point i want to give you the opportunity to actually position things in a way that you feel will be the most uh, aesthetic the point of this challenge is that you also get to choose which of the criteria you want to be scored upon and if you want to complete the challenge for the pixel perfect lines uh, criteria well then you just choose it to be required and right now you see we're failing so uh, we gotta we gotta clean up we gotta clean up these doubles so see now we're still at an F F A and there we go there's no more there's no more doubles doubles zero yeah and then the parts that are uh, that are required to be covered uh, will uh, require yeah so here if we just do the 
If we just do the line art, that's not gonna be good enough. Maybe like this, or should we go one more up and put a hole there? Yeah, you see, and this is this is the beautiful part now, right? This is where you start, uh, where when you have to start making all of these decisions. So yeah, you see this one. If you just complete it, it's not gonna be good enough. You have to also fill it up. And yeah, and so we go along the little, the whole thing, and see if we can complete it. So this obviously isn't a perfect Mickey Mouse, but it's good enough for you to pass. And I kind of like it, you know, for a quick little exercise that we did over here, it's kind of wonderful. And there we have it. This is a fan art study. It's also very important to say, and there will probably even be a message that it's explaining. You didn't draw this, right? You have just created the pixel art version of somebody else's work. So you can call it a study because we are literally copying some other artists work. So it's also important to disclaim that if you're gonna post this online, I mean, everybody knows you didn't come up with this character, but it's also nice to say that, hey, it's a study. Um, just to make sure that, hey, this is drawn directly from reference. Now, not everything is finished in this sprint. There's still plenty of little things we need to do but because the challenge will be reused between different tutorials that also means that i have more time to work on it and improve it as i also finish the other tutorials so i'm combining quite many sprints together and making it more efficient so i'm very happy about how i chose to do this and hopefully it'll pay off and we'll be able to get this game out somewhere hopefully this summer so yeah I'll be working on towards that. Uh, and thank you for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.